Okay, before I get into the exercises, uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about my uh, guitar, uh, the guitar setup, uh, strings, picks, and whatnot. Uh, this is a carving guitar. It's the uh, ST300 model. Um, <clears throat> let's see, it's got the Holdsworth uh, headstock. The neck is a uh, 20 radius neck. Uh, they normally don't offer that option. I believe it's uh, you have to ask for the option 50, which is, means an option that they normally don't uh, have listed. And uh, you have to pay a little extra for that. So, uh, yeah, it's a 20 inch radius neck. It's got an ebony fretboard uh, with albalone inlays. And I don't really prefer uh, inlays on the neck, but you know, I, you know, since I teach and all, it just helps uh, the students kind of see, you know, where I'm at on the neck because I, I had made this uh, couple videos uh, without inlays and, you know, I, I kept getting folks, you know, telling me uh, I, I can't, I, I can't really see where you're out at on the neck unless I'm looking at the tab because there's no inlays. So uh, these happen to be the Albalone in, inlays and uh, <clears throat> of course I have dots on the side here. Uh, and the, the back of the neck is a flame maple. I don't know if you can see that in the video that well. Uh, the top on this guitar is a flame koa top and a mahogany back. And uh, uh, just like the way it looks, I don't know if it uh, you know, has any particular better sound than alder or... or uh, you know, maple or, or whatever. I just like the way it looks. Uh, I seen this one guy on YouTube, and he had a a neck uh, nailed to or screwed to a two by four uh, with some pickups mounted on there, and the guitar sounded great. So, uh, <laughs> you know, who knows? So, uh, anyway, uh, let's see. I've got a Holdsworth uh, pickup in the bridge, standard carbon single coil. In the middle, and then the Frank and Bali pickup in the neck. And uh, let's see, the I've got a five-way toggle right here. Uh, all the way uh, back here is the uh, the bridge, and then uh, position two is the bridge, the single coil. Uh, then three is just the single coil itself. Position four is the single coil, and then uh, neck humbucking and then just the uh, humbucker, the neck. Now my, uh, my volume knob is a push-pull so uh, I can uh, split my humbuckers in the neck or the bridge depending on where I have my, uh, my toggle switch. And let's see what else. Uh, the, uh, the tone knob I tend to keep on five because I noticed that that like if it's turned all the way up, the uh, it's, it's just a little bit too bright for my taste. So with my distortion uh, lead sound, I normally have it say on five. And uh, with my clean sound, especially for soloing, for more of that Pat Metheny dark sound, I turn it down to about three. So uh, let's see, the bridge here is a uh, standard Floyd Rose. Uh, what else? Um, I don't have a locking nut here, as you can see. It's just a standard nut uh, because my tuners are locking tuners that come standard uh, on the carving guitars. Uh, let's see. Um, the types of strings that I use are the uh, Diadario 9s, 9 through 42, a standard set. Uh, you know, I've, I've tried different uh, sets of strings on my electric, uh, you know, I used to have like 11s on there uh, at one point, and uh, um, I did that because it seemed that I could pick faster, seemingly, with the, uh, the heavier gauge strings, I guess because uh, there wasn't as much uh, resistance, uh, or, you know, the strings weren't as loose, you know, so since they were so stiff, you know, it, it seemed like I could pick faster, but I found out later that all I have to do is just lighten up on my pick attack, 
which solves that problem. And, uh, you know, the action, uh, the way I have this guitar set up, uh, the strings are very close to the neck. Uh, the low E is like uh, 12, or excuse me, at the 12th fret, it's one millimeter. And on the high E, it's uh, 0 0.08 millimeters. So very super low action. And I tighten the truss rod uh, so there's very uh, little relief in the neck, a very little bow. So the action is consistently low throughout. So there's very minimal buzz on the guitar. I mean, if you really whack the string, you, you'll hear some buzz. But if you have a light touch uh, pick attack, uh, there's, you know, there's no buzz. Uh, so uh, that's about it for uh, guitar setup, except picks. I haven't talked about picks. Uh, the type of picks I use are the uh, Dunlop uh, Mini Jazz, uh, or excuse me, the Mini Stubby, Mini Stubby 3 Purple Picks. Uh, let's see, I'll get a close-up of that here. Um, so yeah, the uh, Dunlop uh, Mini Stubby 3 millimeter Picks. Uh, I like those because the uh, they they don't seem to wear out as fast, and they just the way they're designed, they just like glide over the strings, uh, you know, for you know speed picking and whatnot. Uh, the the type of strap I'm using, if that's important, it's uh, Planet Waves uh, strap. Uh, this happens to be the uh, Pat Metheny uh, watercolors, I believe it is. I don't really get into skull and crossbones and all that kind of stuff. I thought this one was. This one was pretty cool, but uh, anyway, that's that's it for the uh, guitar setup.